Uh, Eagle Rail that we're going to hear from first is a US-based company that was launched in 2015. And what they have developed is basically a way of moving containers away from the terminals. A key problem in many parts around the world is how do you get the containers moved not a thousand miles away from the terminal, but the five, 10, 15 miles from the terminal area to somewhere in the suburbs. Most big cities have the same problem. Ports are located in densely populated areas. So there's a limit as to how much more traffic can you cram through the immediate neighborhood of a terminal. What Eagle Rail then set out was, could they develop a different conveyance on getting the containers to and from the terminal without occupying more space in that densely populated area around themselves. And as I said, they launched that in 2015, and I think they'll do a pretty good job in telling more about what it is, but that gives you an idea of who Eagle Rail is. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me at the uh, Transportation Logistics Middle East Future Logistics Conference Part 3. I'm uh, very excited to be here, uh, not in person. Obviously, my travel plans change a bit, but I allow, uh, allow them to have me in by video. And I really appreciate that speaking to such a prestigious conference to such a prestigious uh, group of uh, transportation intermodal professionals. So let me tell you a little bit more about Eagle Rail. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, let me share my presentation real quick. Eagle Rail has been around for um, approximately seven years and we created it because we realized 
there was a uh, broken link in the global supply chain. It's fixable uh, through some alternative methods of transportation. That is, of course, the short haul uh, drayage uh, trucking problem. Ports got bigger, ships got larger, uh, causing bunching. Everyone wants the economic development of a larger port network, but no one wants more trucks through tight city roads. So we created an obvious alternative shuttling methodology. We invented it. We are the patent holders, global patent holders of it, and uh, we are continuing to our outreach across the globe. Primarily, we can serve either brownfield projects when you have a landlocked existing terminal that needs to push more cargo through uh, similar gates and roads nearby, or in bigger planning situations for greenfield operations where large automated ports are being uh, designed and conceived, and we can help outside the terminal continue that automated process. We think the three best applications are for uh, terminals to inland operations, uh, deep sea terminals to uh, shore operations, and of course, even non-waterfront properties, inland operations, rails, heads, or into um, inland operations, not on the water. We also think there's a fourth bonus application, just-in-time delivery for empty containers for rebalancing container de empty delivery in uh, empty yards as well. We know that we did some about 80 studies with 80 uh, terminals, and we are probably the best um, means of transportation between one and 10 miles. We can go longer, we can go shorter. This is a real economic sweet spot for our type of uh, intermodal transportation system. By moving containers out of the port faster, of course, increases uh, decreases dwell time, increases slot velocity, allow the terminal to be more profitable with the same amount of slots. Because we're 100% electric, it's a true decarbonization ESG technology as well. We've done calculation using US numbers for the US EPA and DOT to move a uh, fully loaded container 10 miles. We use about 60% less energy and 70% less carbon emissions, even when the source of that electricity is a coal-fired power plant. Our top of the rail can be outfitted with solar panels, and we can even reduce the power consumption more by about 20%. The benefits are for all three stakeholders in the supply chain. Obviously, the direct is the uh, shipping lines and the port operators. Indirect are the intermodal support network, around those uh, ports and of course broad-based tertiary goals uh, i mean uh, uh, benefits are for cities the people and uh, particular health and safety issues we love to work with uh, projects people call us we do a quick project analysis we have a six-step developmental process the first step we do for free it's a conceptual study if we know where the pickup points the drop-off points the choke points the volumes uh, the type of equipment in either operation that we're connecting, we can do a quick study in three to four weeks. We do these for no charge. Uh, we need to gather information, nodes, routes, et cetera, as I just mentioned. And then if we choose to proceed together, we go into a paid feasibility study with a simulation and true BCA analysis. Uh, a little bit more on the operational aspect of, of Eagle Rail. Depending on the, the column, I mean, depending on the volumes, we can have uh, columns place different span lengths, depending on what we're going over. And we can have different number of lanes, depending on the, the annual traffic. As you saw in the video, we can have single lane, double lane, triple lanes for loading situations. We custom design every uh, situation per the need of that terminal or that uh, operation. Anytime there's a flyover uh, where we're crossing over other obstacles, traffic, pedestrians, et cetera. We have a catchment system that protects anything from dropping out of the container. Uh, our new single lane with the center bypass, we've uh, designed it for much smaller operations. We can now go down uh, to operations with as low as uh, 50,000 uh, annual moves per year, and we can go up to uh, systems with four or five million. So, Again, very customizable for all sizes of uh, terminal operations. We have worked with several manufacturers for the scanning operation, and we can take a drive-through scanning operation, invert it, and fly through it. 
uh, without with slowing down without having to stop. And we can do a pull off spur if a container is flagged for inspection. Our software is called Eagle Eye and it's our term our version of terminal operating software. It, it basically interfaces with the port uh, software and then the intermodal software on the other end, whether it's rail or trucking, and we can interface with it. We track when the container was picked up, where it is at any given time, when it was put down, et cetera, and for how long it was on the system. A lot of good data that you can see in real time and that we can measure and monitor for future movements. The loading operation to go from the Eagle Rail table to the uh, lifting table up to the carrier itself is done with a, a, a on-site remote control rooms, basically a joystick operation, just like most of the remote overhead cranes are done today as well. We, our table can work with just about any lifting configuration at a port or a uh, rail uh, operation. Anything from a reach stacker to a overhead crane, pick crane, it could be a gantry version, it could be a, a fixed version. We can also go with the larger span cranes, whether in a rail yard or uh, and the port itself, whether we, we can go underneath the uh, cantilevered side or we can obviously go underneath the legs of a gantry uh, overhead crane by removing one row of containers that could be the Eagle Rail uh, track to go uh, under, underneath. So I wanted to uh, thank you again and uh, say it, it was my pleasure to participate in this conference. I hope you enjoyed our video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick presentation overview. And I do invite you to um, look us up, uh, eaglerail.com. Here's a quick QR code that you can take a picture of right now that will take you to our website. or please feel free to WhatsApp me on my uh, US mobile number They're right here, plus one four one five two seven nine one 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 zero. And uh, please fill out the conference feedback forms and let us know how we did. Uh, but I look forward to talking to you and uh, I will be uh, in the Middle East uh, this week, even though my trip today was delayed. I will be here for the next week. If anyone would like to try to have a meeting with me while I'm out here, I, I will certainly uh, rearrange things or even extend my trip if I have to. So thank you very much, and uh, I look forward to talking to more of you.